ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಕಂಚನ ಗೌರಂಗೇ ರಾಧಾ ವೃಂದವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭನುಸುತದೇ ಪ್ರಾಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರೇಮಭಕ್ತಿ ಚಾಂದ್ರಿಕ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋಭೀಷ್ಟೇ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪಾಕರಮಹ್ಯಂಗು ಶ್ರೀ ರೂಪಗಸ್ವಾಮಿ on Chaitanya's mind, on the surface of earth, give me place at his lotus feet. Thakur is praying when Shri Pugaswami who establishes the Shtavish of Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mind on the surface of the when when he will give the place at his lotus feet Swami, he established the wish of Chaitanya's mind. It means that desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is to understand the Radharani Suprema. This was his wish. This is second wish is to bring the magic of the Kali Yuga. This very rare gift which is not given for millions of years. So this gift is given in Kali Yuga. And through Rupa Naswami this distribution of forms to serve Radha he started because Rupa Goswami is Rupa Manjari like yesterday was picked up the head of all the Manjaris so the main desire of Mahaprabhu is to bring and give this gift There are few uh, desires Mahaprabhu has to relish the Lila in Javanat Puri when Krishna back to Vrindavan to understand how much Radharani loves him. Naratam Dastakur is, is praying that when Rupa Goswami gives place at his lotus feet, recently on lectures of uh, on Nityananda appearance, good brother Sri Vaishnava Das Babaji, on Hari Bhakti Ulasu. He says that uh, serving to God, serving to Krishna is very high, serving to Radha is very high, and we 
me make some bread and that will be considered serving to Makrabu is also very high and we also could make some bread so we have to be careful. So and it is more easy for us to get Kripa. So there is a different way if you approach Radharani or Krishna or Mahaprabhu, Nityananda or devotees, there are different amount of uh, Kripa which you can get. So he mentioned and I was surprised that by praising devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you are getting the highest. It was it was surprise. So if uh, we praise him Radha Krishna, if we praise him Mahaprabhu Nityananda, but praising devotees of Mahaprabhu Nityananda is the highest. So that's why here Naratam Dastakur is praying that Rupa Goswami will give place at his lotus feet. Means his want to serve him. Take a place at the lotus feet means to serve. So we're trying to serve to the servant, the servant, that's what is Mahaprabhu would. So he wants to become part of this service in Gauralila and automatically he will become a servant in Radha Krishna Lila and will take shelter of the Rupa Manjari. So there is a double meaning. He wants to serve in his Swarup in Gauralila. Because we have two sort of, usually we talk about one. So I have to open another one. It is um, the form of a Brahmin boy of 16 years old in Navadvip, in Gauralila. So it is not one, Siddhartha, it's two. One is in Gauralila and one is in Krishna. -Lila. So we have two different lives, two extra lives to live. And to enter into Krishna Lila, there is only one way, is through Gaura Lila. So first we have to take shelter in our Navadvip Swarup of Rupa Goswami. And then by serving Rupa Goswami, we can enter to the Krishna Lila and serve Rupa Manjari. There is no direct way. So this shloka indicates this, that we have to take a shelter in Gaura Lila. Because it's written here, when will Sri Rupa Goswami? <coughs> Prem Bhakti Chandrika is hidden. It also can mean when Sri Rupa Manjari. When I can take shelter of Sri Rupa Manjari and love. But it is very deep and everything is hidden in Prem Bhakti Chandrik. But it also means that in Navadip Lila we need to perform service. There is also Ashtaka Lila, there's eight periods, and also Dandas. There is Srivas Garden where is everything like Rindavan or Radhakun. And there is where is Mahaprabhu lives. There is a different constructions, yoga peep. So where devotees meet, where they take prasad, like here, there's different places. Meeting place, prasadam place, kirtan place, takurji <coughs> place. So when uh, Mahaprabhu was here, there's a big complex of different constructions, so where devotee can meet. 
So these constructions consider S for the Lila as it is Javat. So they play the Lilas as Krishna Lila, like a, their similarity. So Ganga was like Yamuna, Shiva's garden was like Vrindavan, and Radhakum, spontaneously. And the place where is well, Prabhu was living, this is like Java and like Varshan, and Nandarayan. <coughs> so all in one. So it's like a mini Vrajdham was there. So we have one Vrajdham, which is here, we have uh, Vashan, Andagram, Javad, Surya Kund, Radha Kund, Vrindavan. So Mahaprabhu, he performed his Lilas in the mini Vraj. And no one can see that. For everyone is appear that, oh, they go to Ganga, they are splashing some water there. Why they do this? Because at that time they think in their Tradakund and there is a Jali lace happening. <coughs> God at heart, he was playing the role of Radha and Mahaprabhu plays the role of Krishna, so this fashion like this. All devotees Advaita, there was they know what is going on. They can see other reality. Where is Radha Krishna playing in Radha Kund? So, Gaura Lila, let us learn about Krishna Lila in, in a smaller version of it. So, it is easy for us, it's like a playground, like a uh, like kids, they're playing in sandbox and they're building something and they're playing like this for a while and then when they grow up they're really building something so same thing, we are studying in Gaura Lila how to go into Krishna Lila so it's like a first education goes there everything is small there, just Srivast Garden and this complex where it's all there, and Yamuna, not many things. So it's, it's much easier for our mind to go with this Ashtakaliva there. So when we receive our two Swarupas, one is in Gaura Lila, one is in Krishna Lila, so in Gaura Lila we start in the morning in Shiva's garden, there is Mahaprabhu, Nityananda, Advaita, like, it's called Mandap, it's like a Kunja. Yeah. So they waiting up there. And Rupa Goswami or Ramananda Rai, they may massage feet of Mahaprabhu. And we are massaging feet of our Gurudev there. The name of Gurudev there is the same as in this little. We are waking up Gurudev there in Gaura Lila. Then we are going to get to Ganga and taking bath ourselves, helping to Guru Maharaj to take bath in Ganga. Yes. Because there is no direct entrance to Krishna Lila, so we have to go to Gaura Lila. And some devotees may think, no, no, I can start doing Krishna Lila, no problem. But this is the proper way, and we will get the mood of um, Trinada Peace Unichina. That's what we need, because Krishna Lila is very high. The amount of humility there must be also very high. Radha and Krishna, they are very humble. It may look that because of this lila they perform, so um, it's like 
there's no rules or anything. It looks like and there's they're doing whatever they like. No, it's not like this. They are all Manjuris and Sakis and Radha Krishna, they're very humble. They all want to serve to each other. Like here. Every devotee they want to serve each other. So this is the mood. So in Gaura Lila, it is same like this. And in Krishna Lila is same like this. Everyone very grateful for any single little seva. There. Mahaprabhu, he is very grateful. If anyone do little little seva, bring in a garland for a flower, he is very grateful. He is not like, all right, you serve me and... Uh, no, he is very grateful. Nityananda is very grateful. And Radharani is very grateful. If anyone sing a little, they just sing Hare Krishna, she is, oh, this person is praising my Piyatam, my beloved. I am indebted to this person. So, the amount of humility in Radharani is very high also in Krishna. But to learn this, we need the Gauri Lila. And best examples is our Goswamis, how they act. For example, Raghunath Das Goswami. He thinks of himself so low, he is saying, I do nothing, I do no seva, I don't chant properly, I, I do not help anybody, I am just wasting times of devotees. <laughs> he is on this level, but he thinks of himself like this. Krishna Das Goswami, he was saying like this, that if anybody speak my name, they will be contaminated. So please do not repeat even my name. So what kind of humility? So this we need to learn in Gauralila. To become humble as they are. And this is the entry ticket to this Bodhlilas. Unless we have this humility, we cannot go into Yoga Pit. Yoga Pit is a place of meeting. So they like gather together. Three times in our deep Lila, three times in Krishna Lila. But even to enter to this building, we should have this humility to understand that there is the all three worlds, gods are present there in different forms. Nitya Siddhas. So we are in Gaura Lila understanding the Tattva. We are understanding in Gaura Lila who is Mahaprabhu. It is Radha and Krishna themselves. It is Supreme God in this form. So when we come with this understanding, we may fall to the ground and roll just at the entrance of the Navad in Navadip, in Yoga Pit, where is the building, just to get the mood to enter there. To, to do your Pit Seva. So when we have this humility, we can enter to that villa. But if we come with a proud desire, all right, I came here to serve various uh, Panchatattva, I have uh, service to do, and then I have to distribute everyone prasad, then I have lots of work in this world, I have to come back quickly, I don't really have much time, I have to finish very fast, my yoga pizza. <laughs> this is the wrong set of mind, absolutely. So, we can take time and develop this set of mind. And then, our progress will be smooth. And when you have this humility, you have no fear. Because what to fear? If you think that everyone is higher than you, what's the fear? There's no fear. The fear comes only when we think that we are higher of someone. That's the fear coming from. 
here to lost respect or lost fame or lost something. So, but if we think everyone's higher, then there is no fear and there is no worries. And only in this mind we can enter to the Lord. Because if our mind is in fear and worries, how we can perform any seva there? These fears will drag us back to this body. And if we have some unsolved between devotees, something is not solved, some problem which is not, not uh, cleared up. So this problem will drag us to this body. This devotee will think and these thoughts will drag us back. We have to clear with everyone everything. There should be no hard feeling to any single person in this planet. Then you can perform Nadri Lila. And if you cannot meet the person who feel hurt, pray to this person, forgive me please. Call him or her. Send email. We have so many facilities in this world. In time of our Prabhu, you have to maybe go from Navadvip to Vrindavan to find the person you offend. It's called Sadhunida. We may think that Sadhunida is only if I offend Sadhu. No. Sadhu is the person who has Kantimalas and he chant one time Hare Krishna Mantra. It's considered a sadhu. So anybody you know who has Kantimalas chant Hare Krishna Mantra. It's considered a sadhu. Offending this person will be sadhu nida. By having sadhu nida we cannot enter to Lila. Everything is closed then for us. The door is shut. Then what's the point of all this? So in the time of Mahaprabhu we have to go to find this person, person, and please forgive me what I have done to you, I did not mean to. Then we can go into the Lila. But now we have so many facilities, email, Skype, phone. <coughs> so we can use these facilities. At time of our Prabhu, everyone should write this book, for example, by hand. It will take months to write the book by hand nicely. Now we can just go to printing press, thousand books. Are you done tomorrow? Yes, ready, come, take the books. So that we can share this knowledge. There is also PDF format, no problem. <laughs> so. They also copy the book like this. Yeah, somebody, somebody copy, Xera copy also. They do everything possible. So we are so lucky that we can share this is recording is going on this video goes to YouTube and tomorrow they have tomorrow devotees from somewhere Switzerland or Australia they can see video and learn what is about this life in Raj town what is Vrindavan what it takes to enter to the Lila that we have to get rid of all the anarchists this is the entrance. We may study the Lilas, Ashtakai Lila, but if we don't have this base, this foundation, it's all useless. We're just going to be more and more proud. Lord, I know this Lila, I know that Lila, and I have so many knowledge about so many things. I also heard that during and now Soviet Union, because it was prohibited to have these books and you cannot go to the print, you cannot print this. So I heard that they were also copying like this. If somebody got Bhagavad Gita, he, he wrote, he copied like yes. reading. Yes. Yes. It was also a book. Vilap Kusmanjali, it is very high book. And this book, 50 years ago, was only available to some preacher. This preacher keeps this book carefully and don't even show it to anybody, only give lectures about it. So what happened in Vrindavan? Monkey stole the Vilapus Manjali. 
and brought to another Baba. It's Radharani arranged that Vlapkusmanjali come out. So this Baba, what he did, he made a copy. Then he hide. Then the owner find out that Manti stole, he came there and said, Where's Vlapkusmanjali? She said, Radharani gives me, it's not you anymore. Like this. Then somehow this book uh, came to my Guru Maharaj, and because they don't want to open this book, they wrote this in Orion language. Mm. In Oriya. So oh, the yeah. copy was in Oriya language. <coughs> then somebody from Oriya translated to Bengal. So then my Guru Maharaj he can write the commentaries and start his lectures. And then only Maybe um, eight years ago, this book was first time printed in like bigger quantity because before that, uh, Advaita Das he was printing by printer in Holland, one page by one page. This is only way how you can get this book, any of this book. Prem Bhakti Chandrika also. So when I came, I want to find these books. He said, you have to write Advaita Das. And he may do, in a couple of months, for you, one set of books, which will cost something like 14,000 rupees. One set of books, because it will be printed and send it through Holland. And there is no other way to get these books. <laughs> and I was, wow, this is, wow. This is hard. <laughs> so I want to read my Guru's books. And it's like, I... I have to wait so long and so I asked Guru Maharaj, Guru Maharaj, this is not really good way, so there's any other way? He said, you go, you think? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, what can be done? These books are priceless, it's not available on this planet and only one person, you have to wait so long and maybe you will not even get. So then I asked uh, one devotee, her name Janava. She's from Italy. She stayed in Radhikun for a very long time. She says, would you give me this book just for one day, set of books? So I will go to Delhi and I will go to one professional company who can make it uh, like a, a professional computer scan where they can scan every single page very carefully and remove everything, all kinds of dots or whatever. So they they making a, a master print of these books. So I ask Guru Maharaj permission, and I ask Advaita Das permission. It was take a month to get both of them agree, and Jano also agreed. So three parties agrees. Then I go to Delhi and I print these books, and these books available. Now, like this, the Lapkus Manjali, it's looked like that. It's still printed for the last 10 years in such a way that it's not in big quantities. Because I asked Guru Maharaj, can they be printed in 1,000 copies? No, 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 not these books. Not the Lapkus and not Radha Sudanese. Because these books are given after somebody received Diksha in traditional Parivar. It's like a manual of worshipping. Prema Bhakti Chandrika, the first time printed like this, because this is a foundation book, it's a, like a Bhagavad Gita for Raganuga Bhakti. So it was allowed to print in such way. So that's why we can have this book even here, I think you mean down, in Rasbihari. Yes, since one year, I think. Yes, but Rasbihari comes about seven times with contract to my Guru Maharaj to print and publish and give for free thousands of books in return to Guru Maharaj. He refused seven times. They come, please sign and that's it. We will start big publishing, big, everyone will have it. And I said, no, this is private matter. As I said, it's a personal life of Radha Krishna. He is a person. Krishna is a person. He is a royal person. The royal of all royalty. And this is his personal life. He wants to keep it secret. This is his wish. 
So we have to obey this wish and protect his private life. So that's why we cannot spoke anywhere, anytime about these topics. Only like this Sangha, where is traditional Parivar is there, where is Guru Maharaj is there, and in the morning where is not everyone wakes up, or late at night. So these topics can be addressed for very fortunate souls. So otherwise, it's a secret. It has become more open nowadays because of mercy of Mahaprabhu. So, and they are up there hoping that we are in Kali Yuga will understand this Lila in the right way. Will not think from the point of our material understanding of this Lila. This is what happened many times. And then this will be an apparat, and then the doors are shut. There's no way to enter to the Lila. If somebody is thinking something material about Radha Krishna Lila, or Gaura Lila, that's it, they cannot enter. They may, may, maybe they missed the whole Kali Yuga opportunity to enter to the Lila, to get Manjusuru. Imagine, this is how crucial it is. Every Jiva has free will, so if it not use the free will to enter to the Lila, it will lose the chance. And another millions of lives or something. It's going to be like that. Until next time Mahaprabhu comes. It's so rare that Mahaprabhu come again like this. We are incarnated here, not just somehow or by chance. Everyone wishes to incarnate in Mahaprabhu Lila. This is continuation of Mahaprabhu Lila, what is going on now. So we have a desire to enter to this particular body and find the Guru and find a way how to get Manjari Swaru. That was very long desire. So now it's fulfilled. We may be in, in different types of planets, different types of planetary systems. Maybe some of us uh, gods, demigods, munis, rishis, and we have desire. We, we find out that in Kali Yuga there is such a auspicious time to incarnate so we can have the chance to be part of this Gaura Lila. It is continued. 500 years is nothing. If you compare a Kalpa, millions of years, 500 is like yesterday. Yes, so when you say like the Govalila is still going on, then um, when the Govalila still is going on, then why to meditate on that? Or uh, uh, what? What is the? I mean, you know, you say we are still in Govalila. What do you mean with this? Oh. All right. The Gauri Lila, when Mahaprabhu was there with the Prashadas, <coughs> so different types of Gauri Lila. Mm -hmm. And here is Gauri Lila going on is Sadakas. Too. So, to go to Krishna Lila, we have to go into Gauri Lila back in time, to the time where Niti Siddha was there, when Prashadas of Mahaprabhu was there. Mm -hmm. We have to go back in time in our minds to enter there. But here we are Sadakas. We, if you attend seed, it will be Sadhana Siddhi, it's called. There's Niti Siddha and Sadhana Siddhi. So you can become a Siddha by entering Ashtakalila through Sadhana. There is no more free. Like 500 years ago, Prima was distributed like openly. Like somebody opened uh, one big market and said, everything's here for free. Yes! <laughs> Take, take, take Prema, anybody, take Prema. But then they shut the market, they put the price and said, no more, you have to work on it. You have to chant all the time. See, chanting is not like you chant only morning or evening. Not like this. They mean 
literally, you chant all the time. So, don't lose the chance to chant. You chant morning, evening, daytime, cooking, eating, sleeping, going to toilet. Mahaprabhu was asking his guru, why can I chant? He said, his guru said, if you die there, what happened? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Harinam is not get contaminated anywhere. So, you have mala, you don't have mala, you chant. The Harinam must be all the time in your mind. Because Harinam is Radha Krishna, Harinam is Mahaprabhu, Nityananda, this. So, when you are with them 24-7, this is the relationship. If you're in love with someone, you think about this person 24-7, this is natural. But here, first you have to chant, then you fall in love. So, in material world, first you see the person of their love, you fall in love, and then you think. But here's a different way. First you think, and then you fall in love. And when you fall in love, you're thinking, how I can be connected to my beloved? In which way? How I can uh, have this relationship? And Krishna said, no problem. You chant my name, I am with you. The name itself, it is Radha Krishna. It's not different. But for us to understand that it's not different, it will take time. So how we can understand it's not different? Again, back to this humility. This is the only way, only through Nityananda. So we should be lower than anybody, Trinada Pismancha. Then, this is the right set, when we clear all the apparatus, we go Anartha Nivriti. Then we go to Nishtha. So from Nishtha we can have this ability to meditate without interruption. So Nishtha is a stability, stable meditation. Nothing borders. Anartha Nivriti. Different scenes are there. Different thoughts, negative thoughts. So, this anart any negative thoughts, that's the anartha. Any judgment of anybody, this is anartha. So, once we get rid of anarthas, we go to the nishtha. Then the ruchi will come, taste, desire to go into the lila, listen to lila, more lila, where is lila, where is katha going on, I want to listen. This is ruchi starting like this. It starts in slowly. The nasakti is like you. You want to be in Lila all the time. And Bhava, when you lose in your mind in the Lila, you cannot even... It's a hard time to come back here. That's Bhava. But now, we pass in Bhajana Kriya and Atha Nivriti. Doing service, doing Bhajan, and cleaning our heart from an Arthas to get to the Nishtha. We can see Radha Krishna when the, our five senses of the transcendental body, of the Siddha Swarup, will start open. That on the Prema. So, if we expect now to see Radha Krishna, that's almost impossible. That happens on the Prema level. We may have some our mental murti, because this is a type of a murti. Uh, it's a mental murti. We, we can make a brass deity, we can make a mental deity in our mind. It's one type of a deity. And we may have some kind of visions, but the real darshan only on the prema level. So it is a long way to go. But it worked it. We came here for that, so no problem. 10, 20, 30 years, make it like for your mind. I want to spend that much time. If compare all the millions of lives, this is nothing. Just some, uh, even a couple of lies is nothing. So 10, 20, 30 years is nothing. It's for demigods it's 20, 30 days. And they are thinking, how lucky these jivas, in 20, 30 days they can get prema. <laughs> we are sitting here in thousands, hundreds and thousand years, these demigods, they cannot get in. They they have not this opportunity. We have, so we should, should use this opportunity to, to enter to the world. Jai Shri Radhe.
This is by His mercy it's all exists, all arranged. And Radha Krishna playing big role in all this. She is taking care through Sadhu Maharaj, take care about you. Take care personally, each. She cannot come directly. If she appears here, that's it, all the is finished. We will just all fall in love and lose <laughs> mind and nothing. Next day, there will be empty Mghamandir, nobody. <laughs> so that's why she cannot come. But she can come through her devotees and take care of you, help you, explain you anything, support you, that's what is happening. So you may not feel that relationship is going on, but it is going on already. You already have the relationship with Radharani, with Krishna, with Mahaprabhu, with Nityananda, but not direct, through someone. But what's the difference? If this is transparent person, just transparently give the relationship, there is no difference. That's why they said Guru is like Krishna, because he's transparent. Everything comes, it's all as it is. <coughs> yes. I just want to, because what she was asking, there is some misconception going on that I heard that many think that they have to be born in Braj, in this body, that they can just, you know, have the possibility to go and like this. But also Gurudev explains why to wait now, you start now. I also heard asking Gurudev this question one time and but this is one, I think, is maybe some misconception. All right, Somebody right. thinks that he needs to be born in this body, in this, in this place, they can to be Brajabasi and then then he has a